What's up guys, Will John here with 360 Players YouTube channel and today we're gonna go over some defensive shape and tips for those of you coaching to make your team function better. This is stuff that I did when playing in the Danish Superliga and the MLS. It is stuff that is going to help your team. So let's get right into it. All right, so to get things going and obviously we know shape is important, we're gonna get our four defenders, our left back, our two center backs, and our right back set up to defend the goal, all right? You can do this with a goalie or without. I would prefer it with a goalie, that way there can be some communication between the players. Now, in front of them, you're going to have four points, which you can use different bibs, color bibs, or different color cones, all right? And these color cones will be the point of attack for the defenders in order to know where to put pressure. So, in our first example, we're gonna say that the orange cone is out there, on the left side, and we of course know that the left back is going to have to put the first point of pressure on him. So, we as coaches, we walk around with the ball. We obviously have the option and ability to call out any of the cones. We call out orange, and that means boom, the left back gets there. He puts pressure on the cone as if he was defending, make sure that he gets in perfect shape, and then you immediately check to see that everyone is providing proper shape and protection. That goes from the center back, knowing that he's got to be in to cover in case a ball comes over. The next center back has to be in there, seeing the space here. And the right back cannot be way on the other side. They must be sucked in. All pressure needs to be on this side, and everybody on the team needs to understand, when we put pressure here, we don't have to worry about what's going on over there. Let them switch the ball, and we'll get to that, actually, as we're, as we're going. So now, once they've gotten there and they've set up, go ahead and blow the whistle again. They reset. You call another cone, and they put pressure there. So once you feel that the team has a basic understanding of the pressure cover balance dynamic, you can go ahead and call in some defensive mids. That way you guys can get a better understanding of what's going on together as a team. So once you have the defensive mids in here, that changes who's going to put pressure. Obviously, we don't want our center backs running all the way up there and following strikers if they drop deep. So immediately, now when you call, say, blue, which is in the middle, you know that the defensive mid is going to be the one to put that pressure on there. Everybody else has to suck in. We need to now understand our shape from within, okay? So that means that everybody has to be sucked in. We don't want everyone standing out there wide, especially when it's inside. We want to make things compact, and that's the first point that you want to have then. When the ball goes out wide, you still have a chance for your fullbacks to put pressure, but they now need to communicate. If the defensive mid is the first one to be there and he's going to put pressure, then the right back can't go, right? We don't need two guys pressing the ball at the same time. It doesn't make sense, okay? That's where we can have gaps and, and create problems. So now that everybody should feel comfortable about moving and communicating with the defensive midfielders, what we wanna do is put another wrinkle into this and get some attacking players to swap out the cones. So now, instead of four cones or four bibs, we have four attacking players who are all going to be free to pass the ball along the line, all right? That's it. So as the ball is over there with our left midfielder, and he switches it to the right, we have to make sure that our shape is good. It's a bit more game-like now because the ball is moving across between these guys and they're free to pass back and forth. And as they do that, everybody has to adjust. And finally, once we have all of that done and we feel good, we need to add in strikers so that we can really test the center back and really see if we've taken in and internalized all the stuff that we have learned today. So we add two strikers, you can add Three strikers, you can add however many you need to do. You can just give them a chance now to play and be a bit more dynamic. Continue to stop the game as you see points, as you see breakdown, but let them play a little bit. That way they can feel free to actually sort those things out and communicate like they would in the game. All right, guys, so that is it for today. If you are looking for more defending drills and sessions, we've got all that, hundreds more in the 360 player app. So go and check those out and we will see you guys next time. Peace.